this week's Bright Idea, we're reviewing some of the Instagram engagement data that we've been looking at and keeping an eye on since the Instagram API changed on December 11th. For those of you who don't remember, on December 11th, Instagram said we're deprecating and turning off uh, a few APIs, one of which prohibit now prohibits bots from doing stuff like auto-commenting, auto-liking, and stuff like that. And we wanted to keep an eye on, on the top Instagram accounts to get a sense of what's changing. What uh, what impact will this have? So let's take a very quick look through uh, the data to see what what's out there, who who and what is involved. So if uh, we have here our list of most followed accounts, right? And this is uh, by number of followers over the last thirty days, uh, roughly since the the API change happened. And we have people, of course, like The Rock uh, and Ariana Grande and uh, uh, Kardashian. Um, <laughs> and these are all folks who have hundreds of millions of followers on Instagram. And we see some major brands here, too, like Barbie and National Geographic. In terms of the brands themselves, uh, if we look at the brand, just the brands, we see a lot of uh, football clubs, soccer for Americans, uh, fashion brands, sports, uh, makeup tutorials, things like that. So very much all visual stuff, all stuff that people want to look at. Makes total sense. It's Instagram. So what do we see happening overall? In the last 30 days, uh, the top 500 accounts have post been posting an average of you know, around 6,000 posts per week, which when you think about it, is a lot of content. People are pushing out a lot of content. And what we're really seeing is it's around the holidays. So if we look at the engagement rates, so what are the average engagements? Uh, an engagement is either a like or a comment on Instagram. And what we see is, of course, we see a lot of engagement happening around the holidays, uh, a, a ton around the new year, which when you think about it, so many of these accounts are personal accounts uh, in the sense that, yes, they may be business profiles, but it's still about a person like The Rock or Beyonce or Taylor Swift. It's not Taylor Swift Entertainment Company. It's, it's Taylor Swift. And of course, the content that these folks are sharing uh, is very much sort of a, a celebrity sneak peek into their lives. So, of course, you're going to see a massive spike in engagements and engagement rates, especially during the holidays, during times when people really want to know what's going on with a, their favorite celebrity. And this is reflected in the engagement rates themselves. So right around here. Uh, we see that big drop off once the the bot protocols took over. We saw about a 20% decrease in Instagram engagement uh, in the first really week or so, and then that led right into the holidays, where on uh, on Christmas Day we saw a, a large spike in, and then uh, around New Year's Day, almost 1.6%. Uh, now, what's interesting is since then we've seen engagement rates going back down, maybe reverting to the norm. Will have to keep an eye on this data to see if this this continues to be sort of a, a straight line trend from here to here, uh, be, this being the new baseline. So a, about a 20% decrease in engagement. Now, if we look, if we take away some of the personal stuff and we look only at those brands themselves, so the organizations where it's clear this is about a company and not about an individual, uh, we see about 3,000 posts a week, so roughly half of the post content uh, being created is is from brands. Even though brands only make up about 10-ish percent of the uh, of the um, uh, total number of accounts, we look here. It's a relatively short list compared to the the huge, huge, huge uh, list of uh, individuals. And brand engagement, brand engagement follows a similar pattern, but not nearly as much. Uh, if we go, let's go ahead and go to the engagement rates and we look at the engagement rate for individuals where we see that big spike on Christmas, that big spike on New Year's, we don't see as much of that. We see a little bit here and then we see uh, some towards the uh, towards the new year, but really only getting to about one percent. Uh, so substantially less, about a third less than the the group as a whole. Now, if well, if we take this and we look now at the brand engagement rate immediately, you know, uh, this was Monday's engagement rates, uh, Tuesday's engagement rates. It's actually lower, lower than it was after the API change. That is pretty a substantial change. Now, again, we want to see: is this the new normal? Is 0.6 uh, down from 0.8? Is this the new normal? Is 25% is less brand engagement the norm for Instagram going forward for brands? And if so, 
brands are going to have a lot more work to do to make up for getting uh, those types of engagements. And by the way, this data feed that we're using does not disambiguate between sponsored and, and, and unsponsored or paid and unpaid, which means that even if brands are paying a lot of money, it's not showing up in their metrics. So we have said uh, on the In-Ear Insights podcast, which if you're not subscribed to, uh, go to trustinsights.ai slash podcast. You can subscribe to it there. And we have said that Instagram is going to be the thing for 2019. A lot of focus on it, a lot of interest in it. But know that the the territory, the ground, the environment appears to be more difficult, than certainly more difficult than it was prior to that December 11th API. So if you are an up and coming brand who's not in the top 500, uh, obviously you have a lot of work to do and you have a, you need to create super engaging content. Because even the, the biggest and the best accounts in the world are still clocking any maximum of 1.5% engagement. That's a pretty shocking number. So we'll keep an eye on this and we'll post and maybe update this every so often. So make sure that you stay subscribed to the Trust Insights newsletter in the headlights because that's where uh, announcements about this content will live. And you can uh, play around with this workbook and, and examine it on uh, Tableau Public as well. So check it out, uh, keep an eye on it, and make sure that from a prescriptive position, don't spend 100% of your budget on Instagram. If these engagement rates, especially these declines in engagement rates hold for brands, you're going to want to have some budget in reserve to test out alternate channels like TikTok, for example, and possibly uh, it, uh, certainly YouTube. Spread around and diversify a little bit in case this, this sudden drop-off becomes even worse. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter, and we'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data, analytics, and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.